In this video we're going to configure everything so you're set up for a beef hook attack. Basically this will inject malicious JavaScript into the target computer's browser. Once we've got the beef hook framework installed, we'll have an admin panel or like a control panel and we'll be able to execute commands on the target computer just by injecting malicious JavaScript into their browser. Now there's two methods within this, so I've split this up into the installation, the first attack and then the second method. The second method is more reliable. The first method we're going to look at in the next video with BetterCap is less, it's less reliable because there's more security these days and certain browsers don't allow, you know, like um, SSL stripping and etc and stuff like that. So I do prefer the second method, however, it's very useful to know the first as well. The good thing about ethical hacking is that it's your own initiative. It's the ideas you come up with to, you know, share, spread your payload, etc. Or, you know, get a target computer to click on a link that hooks them to your browser. It, there's loads of different methods you can use and that's the best thing about ethical hacking. But let's just get configured within this episode. So the very first thing you need to do is go to this pastebin URL here. I will open text editors and you need to as well because we need to save this as a JavaScript file. So this is just configuring everything for the first um, attack in the next video. So what you need to do is visit this URL. Don't worry, it will be in the resources tab next to the video name on Udemy on the right hand side. If it's not, or you can't see it, don't worry, just visit this pastebin URL. It's very simple, it's just pastebin.com forward slash D9 capital A then DY, capital T, E9. And you'll get to this page. Once you're on this page, you just want to copy this JavaScript function. Then go back to your text editor and just paste it in. Save this file. So go file, save as. You want to save this in the root directory and just save this as beef hyphen hook.js. Click enter to save it or you can just click save in the bottom right hand corner down here. Click save and there we go. You can see it's changed into JavaScript now. So that's exactly what we needed. You can see here that we will need to edit this file in a second. So just leave it up. After you've done that, we need to install the beefhook framework. Beefhook did come pre-installed with the old Kali Linux version 2019. However, they removed it for some reason, so you do need to install it. So you just open Terminator, very simple to install. All you need to do is type apt-get install beef-xss. Hopefully you can see that. I'll just extend this window a little bit so you can see it better. And click enter. Give it a second, it will install. It won't take too long. And there we go, it's installed. So you can type clear and to start beef, all you need to do is type beef hyphen XSS. Click enter. And you can see here there's an error message coming up saying you are using the default credentials. Password must be different from beef. And the admin panel of this runs off your local Apache server. So it's like logging into a website. And this login will gain you access to all of the computers that you inf inject your malicious JavaScript into. You'll see it in a second, but it looks like a normal login panel on a website. So we need to set the password for the account. You can set this to absolutely anything you want. It can't be beef though. If I type beef in here and click enter, you can see it's saying password must be different from beef. Because the username by default is beef, so the password must be different to that. You can type absolutely anything in here. It doesn't have to be super secure. I'm just going to type Kali. Make sure you type it correctly and then click enter. You can type, like I said, you can type whatever password you prefer, but don't make it too complex. Because no one's going to need this log, you know, no one's going to try and log into your beefhook framework. It doesn't really make any sense. So don't worry about the password too much. Then after a few seconds, it should open the browser. Now you may be thinking, well, it's not working. So to get it working, you need to start your Apache server. So I'm going to open a new terminal window, just horizontally. You could open a new tab. It doesn't really matter. And here you type service Apache 2 start. Click enter. This comes pre-installed, so don't worry. You just need to type service Apache 2 start. And then if you refresh the browser, you'll see the beefhook framework. And you can see it's like a normal login. And here is where you need to type in the login details that you just changed here in this terminal. So the first one is username is beef. It's beef by default for everyone. But then whatever password you've just set, you need to type in here. And I typed Kali. 
So click login, and there we go, it's authenticated. If you're getting an error and the authentication just will not work, make sure the username is correct. And if you've made a mistake with the password, because you can't actually see what you're typing in the terminal. So you, mistakes do happen, but don't worry, you can actually view the password that you typed in. If you go up to the uh, file explorer, file manager I should say, then we need to locate the directory of beef. So it's in file system, go to user, then go to share, then find beef-xss, you can see here. And the password will be in the config.yaml file. So you right click open with text editor. If text editor isn't an option here, go to open with other application. Then scroll down until you find text editor. So if I scroll down, you can see it's actually not showing up here because I've already opened it with text editor before. But it should appear around here with the terminal is. And once you've done that, you should be able to open it with the text editor and it will look like this. So you can see the credentials here. The username is beef and the password is whatever you typed in. So if you've made a typo, for example, I might have done Kali with two A's, then I just know the password now, so I'll be able to authenticate because I'll just type in whatever shows up right here. You can't actually change the password within this config file. So I can't change this to a password like this and save the file, it won't work. So even if you've made a typo, don't worry, just copy whatever it says the password is here into the authentication uh, password box. So that's the beef configuration done. It's a very useful thing to know in case you do make a typo because mistakes do happen. And there we go, this is what it looks like. When we get a zombie, which is basically just the target computer hooked. All the information will show up here, and then we'll be able to execute certain commands on it, we'll be able to view the webcam, etc. So this is the basic configuration done. It's very simple to configure everything. In the next episode, we're gonna look at the first attack method, which is using BetterCap2. So once you're at this stage, everything's configured correctly, and you shouldn't have any problems going forward.